No mai haere mai ki tēnei hotaka motu hake mō te tangi o Queeni iri hapiti tuarua i rānana. Good evening and welcome to this One News special, the final farewell for Queen Elizabeth II in London. The state funeral, which is set to start in just under three hours, will be broadcast live to billions worldwide. It'll be the largest gathering of heads of state and royalty in the UK, which is hosted in decades. Remembering a queen who promised her life would be one of service and duty and made good on that promise for seven decades. We have extensive coverage from the One News team across London and in Windsor. We'll be crossing live to the Abbey as the guests arrive, among them a contingent of Kiwis representing us all. The doors of Westminster Abbey were opened half an hour ago, some of the 2,000 strong congregation already taking their seats. Let's cross first to Melissa Stokes, live in central London. Melissa, we learned today about some of the new additions to the attendance list. Yeah, kia ora, um, kōroa. Yes, this morning uh, the news that uh, the second and third in line to the throne, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, would make the walk behind their grandmother's coffin from Westminster Hall to Westminster Abbey. It was decided uh, by their parents that they were up to coming to the procession today and to the funeral. Prince Louis, uh, who was the real scene stealer at the Queen's Jubilee a couple of months ago, it's decided at four that he was a bit little uh, to make the funeral today. Uh, it does make the nine-year-old, that's George and seven-year-old...